So, welcome to RWA at IWA 2019. And we're gonna talk first about our battle arms development uh, lineup of guns right here. These two are gas blowback rifles that are coming out very soon. Uh, we have two lengths, they say 14.5 inch, and of course, the shorty over here, which is our PDW length. What's really nice about these guns is they both use Tokimori MWS system. So if you have parts that are compatible and you want to switch those up, you're more than welcome to do so. The other cool thing about these guns is it uses also the similar same grip as the real battle arms development rifles. So these grips can be adjusted for a different angle. You want a little bit straighter, that's your thing. If you want a little bit not straight, you can do that too. Moving right along, the cool thing that we have from Battle Arms is the tanker. The tanker is a built-to-order gas blowback that Battle Arms Development themselves built for us specifically. This gun started its life out as one of these normal, regular size Battle Arms Development GBBRs. It's still a gas blowback gun, but Battle Arms put all the rest of the cool stuff on this. The rigid rail is the same one on the real gun. All this wood is the same wood furniture you find on the real gun, and the it just feels so, so good. It's really tight, really slick. It doesn't feel very slippery at all. It's got a good angle on it. The coating is also done specifically from Battle Arms Development, and they have the rack charging handle that they retrofitted for a Tokyo Marui. This is awesome. If you have the chance, come and rack this thing. It's so much fun. It wouldn't be our booth without something Cerakoted. So this is an amazing Cerakote jo job done by our master Cerakote applicator, Kerm, which is also certified by Hillbilly223 from Hillbilly Custom. This thing is a white base with a black battle-worn Cerakote, and it is flying off the shelves. So you guys, of course, we have to show you something special. But I'm sure a lot of you would find this offering the most interesting. This is going to be the AEG of the Battle Arms Development Gas Blowback Rifle. Of course, this is not a complete product yet. The rail system will change. The length will change a little bit. But what we wanted to show you is, of course, the micro switch. We will be having a rotary style hop up on this thing. Programmable gearbox, all version two compatible. An AEG that's gonna look just as nice as one of these guys. So that's our Battle Arms Development lineup. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nighthawk custom section of our booth. Let's look at these bad boys over here. The first thing we're gonna look at is the Agent 1. The Agent 1 is a very unique style pistol because it sports a 4.3 length slide, but a full size body. So you get a very compact pistol, yet it's full size, so it's no compromise on that grip. It's still really good. Very smooth on the cycle, really good trigger break. Resets nice and crisp and short. It's really nice. These rail scale grip panels, they're not too aggressive and they just grip your hands really good. The slide is designed and um, done up by Agency Arms and it's all uh, made to fit and finish by Nighthawk Custom and we really try to replicate this thing as best as we can. But of course, you can't have an Agent 1 without, of course, the Agent 2. The Agent 2 is your full-size 1911, just as smooth as the Agent 1. It also features a nice hooked trigger on the bottom, so it's built for some speed. This thing has a lot of great details, one of which I always love to highlight is look at that bushing up front. Look how nicely that is cut with each individual line. That's just really good work. The rail scales panel is fully licensed and it's made to match the serrations you see on the gun. So it feels like it's a one piece gun. It also even has the Glock accelerator cut inspired cut right here. So for you to index your thumb and drive that gun forward. The Agent 2, definitely a piece to look out for. These are Agent, Agency Arms and Nighthawk Custom uh, collaboration work. The next thing we're gonna look at is our Warhawk line. So our Warhawk line is gonna be our new, more budget-friendly line of pistols. It sports something that Nighthawk Custom calls the tri-cut. What that does is they cut the top 
angularly, similar to a triangle. Shave the sides, flatten out the top. They have these, these, these serrations on the top to help diffuse some of the light, eliminates a little bit of the glare coming off the top of your gun. And it also helps direct your eyes towards that front sight when you're aiming. So it's a really nice pistol right out of the box for you. And it's made to be budget friendly and um, really good performance. As an added bonus, not only do you have the ability to run this with CO2, but you can also run it with green gas. On the same gun, you don't need to go and purchase anything else. Take that whatever magazine you want, shove it in there, and away you go. So they're Tokyo Maru Respec uh, magazines for green gas, and you guys know what that means already, so I don't have to go and explain that. So go ahead, get this when it comes out really soon, and go have at it. Welcome to the uh, interesting portion of our booth. This is RWA and collaboration with Shoguns. If you're a Star Wars fan, you might recognize this piece right here. This is the ion blaster used by the Jawas. The coolest thing about this gun is, number one, it is a functional Lee Enfield that is customized and cut down. Second thing is, it is the most adorable sounding gun ever. It's great. Definitely Jawa worthy. Moving right along, of course, Star Wars, you gotta have the heavy blaster. So this is the heavy blaster seen on from different stormtroopers and different other clone troopers. This is the one. Moving right along from there, of course, the 1919 Terminator 3 edition. This is the one where Arnold was holding onto that coffin and shooting. Yeah, that, that's this guy right here. You're more than welcome to come and film with this or put this on and go take some pictures later. But I think the most representative product of our booth is this. This is the RWA um, KG9 Porcelain Edition. Now, with our rich Asian heritage, what better way to demonstrate that than through this particular gun. Um, this thing is Cerakoted white, then hand-drawn. All of these details are hand-drawn down to this Imperial Decree style parchment that's also featuring Chinese calligraphy that was also hand-done by the same artist that did this particular KG-9. So of course, if you want cool stuff like this, make sure you follow us on our social media platforms and subscribe to AMMB.